next story is probably going to get your attention thanks to Sarah Costa. When you get bit by a kissing bug, you may not even know it because the bite isn't very painful. But experts with the Texas A&M AgriLife say that the bite can affect you down the road because kissing bugs are known to spread Chagas disease. Chagas is caused by a parasite in blood feeding insects like kissing bugs. If uh, if a dog or human is infected, the parasite can be dormant for many years. When it wakes up, it can start feeding on your heart. It's why experts like Gabe Hammer is concerned that they have seen a spike in kissing bugs across the state. We don't really understand this, you know, the factors increasing the numbers. So it could be weather related um, and there's maybe other potential factors increasing the numbers that we're seeing this year. But, uh, but people don't really know what that is yet. Kissing bugs, when fully grown, are about an inch long, and they can live for about a year. Hammer says people living in San Antonio can actually see them around their houses because the, blug, the bugs are flying in from the hill country and they are attracted to lights. All right, so to prevent kissing bugs from hanging around your home, clear out brush or areas where rodents and critters hang around. That's what bugs are feeding on. To check out that booklet that Texas A&M AgriLife put together on uh, kissing bugs or what to watch for, you can just head to our website at ksac.com. Like we said, those bites are not painful, painful, but they said they tend to bite you on your face. Also, I just recommend don't touch them and wash your hands. If you like, if your kiddos like bugs, tell them not to collect them and wash their hands. And you can read more about why on our website.